This is a short video that will provide you with an overview of how the app that contains the Wales Safeguarding Procedures is structured and how the content is laid out. This video will focus on the procedures as they relate to children and young people at risk of harm. And in particular, we'll be focusing on section one of the procedures. So to start with, we click in, that's children and young people at risk of harm. When we enter into this first page, you will see all of the sections are laid out as they've been described in the series of videos that have already been presented. A reminder that each of the sections sets out the stages in the safeguarding procedures that need to be followed. So we then click into section one You then see, in effect, the contents list of section one of the procedures. Section one covering the safeguarding principles and effective practice, which includes in it the definitions that are relevant to safeguarding children. The overview of the section reminds us of the principles, the definitions, the process, it's giving you the contents of the rest of the section. Wherever you see any words or phrases highlighted by the shaded box, you can click on the, the word or the phrase that will then bring up a description of what is meant by the term or the phrase. So for example, you can see the description of the term practitioner as is referred to in the procedures. Where you see words or phrases that are highlighted in bold text, you can click on these and then they will take you to some additional information. So this one, for example, gives us the detail of the safeguarding principles. To go back to the previous page, you can either click on the arrow at the top of the screen or you can pick or you can click on the small text in green that says back to safeguarding principles, which brings us then back to the contents page. Next section, then we see safeguarding principles. And again, these have been described in the video that accompanies section one. You need to scroll down the screen to get back up to the top. We go back. You've also got then in this section, the definitions that are relevant to safeguarding children. So the definition of a child at risk, which again, if we click on the shaded box, it brings up the definition of a child at risk as described in both the procedures and the Social Services and Wellbeing Act. It also then contains the descriptions of harm and the different descriptions of the types of abuse that are detailed in the procedures. Scroll back up to the top. Back to the contents page. In section one, we also have the detail around our approaches to early help and prevention. So the descriptions then of why early help and early intervention is important, some discussion around adverse childhood experiences, and the detail then around the approach we should be taking to identifying and addressing emerging concerns. Back up to the top, click again, either on the back arrow or on the small text at the top that says safeguarding principles, and it takes us back then to the contents page for section one. If we then want to go back to the main front page of the procedures that lists all the sections, we can click on the, again, the narrative at the top that says back to children and young people at risk of harm, and we're back to the main sections. 